All right, guys, in the last video, we went ahead and finished up the dashboard. So everything here is working. We have our to-do list that we can add stuff to. We have our chart. We have our preloader when we load the page. We have our little floating buttons with the, with the modals. So now we're going to move on to the inner pages. So let's start with the post page. The post categories, these are going to be pretty easy. They're basically just going to be tables. Same with the comments and users, but they'll be a little more... Um, there'll be a little more markup in those because we have to add the images and so on. All right, so let's go ahead and add some new pages here. So in addition to index.html, we're going to create posts.html. And we might as well just create the rest of the pages we need. So let's do categories, not vategories, but categories.html. Let's also do, uh, what else do we need here? Let's do users. Let's do comments. And we're going to have a login page. So we'll do login.html. And let's see. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it for now, at least. So let's close all these up except for posts. That's what we want to work on. Now, what I'm going to do is copy everything in the index.html file just so we can have like the things that are going to be repeated, like the nav bar and all that stuff. So we're going to paste that in. OK, and let's let's go down to the JavaScript and get rid of some of the stuff that we don't need. So I want to keep the preloader on every page. So we're going to keep like this part where we hide the sections, where we have the timeout, where we fade in the sections and fade the loader out. Uh, we need this for the side navigation. We need this for the modal. Um, select, yeah, we'll keep that. Counter, we don't need that. We can get rid of it. And once we do all this, the post page is what we'll copy for the rest of the inner pages. Okay, we don't need the comment, approve and deny. We don't need the quick to do's. Get rid of that. We don't need the delete to do's. So that ends, let's see, that ends right here. We also don't need the, actually, you know what? We do need that because we're going to have the post modal on this page. So we'll keep that. OK, so that should be all we need for the JavaScript. Now, uh, the chart JS, we don't need that. We can get rid of that. We don't need the canvas JS script. And we'll keep the rest. OK, so we're going to keep the preloader. I don't know why I'm starting from the bottom, but that's what I'm doing. So it's fine. Um, the user modal we don't need. What we do want to keep is the post modal so we can get rid of the user and the category. But let's keep the post modal, which is this one here. All right. And then the fixed action button. Um, we're going to be changing that up, but we'll keep that for now. The footer we're keeping and then all these sections we're going to get rid of. So this is the the to do's and all that. Get rid of that. We'll get rid of uh, this one here, which is the section visitors. We'll get rid of the top one, the stats. So up to this point and we'll delete. OK, we obviously want to keep the nav bar. And that should do it. So let's save. And then we should be able to click on the post link. And it loads the post page, which basically just has a footer on it and the floating button. So uh, let's change the active link in the nav bar. Right now it's on the dashboard. See right here, we're going to take that. And we're going to put that onto the posts and save. And that way the post is now highlighted. Now for the content, let's go under the nav bar between the nav and the footer. And we're going to put a section here. We'll say section posts. So let's do a section HTML tag with the class of section. And we'll give it a class of section posts. Let's make it gray, gray background, and we'll lighten it. Let's say lighten dash four. We'll make it really light. And then in here we'll have a container. So this stuff is all the same. We'll do a row. Let's do a full column, full 12 columns. So we'll say dot call dot s12. And then in here we're going to do a card. Let's do our card content. 
and inside here we'll have a title so the title will be a span with the class of card title and we'll just say posts and then we're gonna put a table so what I'll do is copy from the index HTML the table we have which is right here so this table I'm gonna grab it and we're gonna put it in here and let's save whoops oh the details page that's what we need let's create that details.html okay so there's our table now I also want to put the date created in here so let's do that so in our table in our th area let's go right below the category and let's say date created okay and then for each one of these we're gonna need a new TD let's say January 1st 2018 and I'm just going to copy that and we'll put that in here. Oops. But let's um let's change this to January 2nd. All right, we'll go down here and paste that in. We'll change that to January 3rd. Uh, we should probably put a few more posts as well. So let's copy this. Actually, we'll copy all three of these. We'll make six posts. So all of the TRs inside the T body, we'll copy those and just paste them in again. And we'll change this to post four. And this one will be post five and post six. Okay, and we'll just change the date up. So I'll say five, six, and seven and I'll change one of these categories we'll say tech gadgets just to look more realistic so let's save that and there we go so there's our post page now I want to put some pagination down here obviously it's not real pagination but just just for the UI so we're gonna go down let's see let's go down under this div which is the card content we want to go under the card content and we want to put in a card action okay so it's kind of like a footer of the card and this is where we're going to put our pagination so we'll say ul dot pagination hopefully you guys are using Emmet and then this one is going to be this li is going to have a class of disabled because this is going to be basically the current page we're on and then inside there we're going to have an a tag with the class of let's do blue text and it's not actually going to go anywhere and inside the a tag we're going to have a chevron left icon so we'll say i i dot material dash icons and in here we'll do chevron underscore left okay so if I were to save that you can see now we have the little arrow icon which is disabled um, the next list item in our pagination is going to be the active one so let's say li dot uh, we'll say active class it's also going to have a class of blue because it's going to have a background and let's also do lighten. We'll do lighten dash two. All right, and in here we'll have an A tag with the class of white dash text. And none of these are going to actually go anywhere. But this is going to also this is going to have a one because it's basically the first page. So if we take a look at that, okay. So we have the one, and that's the active page. And then what I'll do is just copy this. We'll copy that down and we'll just remove the active from it. So we'll, we'll remove the active. We'll remove actually all of these blue and lighten. But let's give it a waves effect class. OK, 
Okay, we'll change this to two. And then we can copy this. So we'll do like two, three, four, and five. So we'll change these numbers up. So this will be three, four, and five. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so the, the text is white. We can't see it. So we have to change these. Um, so I'm going to do control D to select the next one, the next one, and the next one, and then change them all to blue text. And there we go. So now we just need our right chevron. So what I'll do is copy. Let's see. Let's copy this li right here and put that down here and change this to chevron right. And I'm just going to take away the disabled class and I'm going to put on a waves effect. All right, let's save that. And there we go. So there's our pagination. When we click on it, you see the little waves effect. Okay, so that's it for the posts. Now the categories is basically going to be the same thing, just different content. So I'm going to copy everything, go to our categories and paste it in. Now here we actually don't need the um, CK editor. We can get rid of that. Oh, we forgot to do the modal on the post page. So real quick, let's go down. We already have the actual modal right here. We just want to edit the button instead of having all of these things pop up here. I just want to click the plus and that will open the modal. So we're just going to get rid of the whole UL. Yeah, we'll get rid of all that. And then we're going to go to the actual uh, link right here and put an href to the post modal and remember we have to add a modal trigger as a class okay so if I save that now if I click the plus icon it opens up the modal okay so now we're done with that we can close that up actually let's copy everything again because we want that same type of modal button so we'll copy from posts paste in categories again get rid of the CK editor we also don't need the select. Uh, let's see, we can get rid of the script to the CK editor. And we actually want the category modal. So I'm going to copy from the index page the category modal, which is right here. And we'll go and we'll replace the post modal on the categories page. So we'll paste that in. All right, and then the action button, we're just going to change this to go to category modal. All right, now for the table, let's go up to the top of the table. Actually, first let's change the active class. Let's see, you want to go right here. So class active, we want to take it off of posts and put it onto categories. And then we'll go back down to the table. And for the categories, it's basically just going to have uh, a title and a create date. So we can get rid of this category. And what I'll do is just get rid of this TD. And now we can have that as the category name. Same thing here, get rid of that. Get rid of that. For this one, we'll say, what do we got? Web development, graphic design. Let's do tech gadgets. And then this last one is going to be other. Other. And then we can get rid of the rest of the TRs. All right. We'll leave the pagination. So let's save it. Let's go to categories. Oh, one thing I forgot was the title. So let's see, where is it? Uh, right here. So we want to change this from posts to categories. All right. And if we click the button here, that should open the category modal.
All right, so we're going to go ahead and stop here, guys. In the next video, we're going to do the comments and the users page.